Here's a quick tip for those trying to set up Logic Pro X with the MPC2 software. I've been asked this question a few times, generally by new MPC owners wanting to know about how to set up the MPC plugin and how to access the separate outputs. And then there's those that weren't even aware you could use an MPC plugin inside Logic or other applications for that matter. So I'll give you a walkthrough of how it's done with Logic Pro X in this clip. If you find this useful, plant a big thumbs up on the clip below and punch that subscribe button for more. Here I'm using Logic Pro 10.4.8 and MPC Software 2.9.1. So assuming you've installed the AU plugin and your MPC is connected via USB and your MPC is in controller mode, from within Logic, create a new software instrument. Expand details down if you can't see the instrument field. Scroll down to AU Instruments. Under Akai Professional, select the multi-output. Depending on the spec of your Mac, you may be able to add more than 16 stereo pairs. I've seen 24 stereo pairs available on a 2019 Mac Mini. But either way, select whichever configuration you have. I'll select 16 and hit Create. Now to add these additional routes, visit the MPC plugin channel inside your Logic Mixer and click these little plus or minus symbols to add or subtract your MPC auxiliary buses. As mentioned earlier, you'll have either 16 or 24 auxiliary bus pairs that you can route audio through from within your MPC. This is all very useful for summing out your audio in the songs already inside your MPC. But with the auxiliary busing, you can use all the plugins you have in Logic on the sounds you have on your songs in your MPC. Now that we've routed the MPC plugin into Logic with a few additional auxiliary buses, head over to your MPC, locate the pad mixer or channel mixer, and look up the route page. And if you've got a program loaded, you should be able to tap a sound and see the audio metering on the correlating MPC auxiliary within Logic. A good idea would be to save this as a Logic template so it's ready to go next time you want to use Logic together with your MPC in controller mode. I hope that's helped you out. If so, plant a big thumbs up on the clip below and punch the subscribe button to see more studio tips coming soon. Thanks for watching.